All right, this is how to change the topaz liner and the septa and the o-ring on this shimadzu gas chromatograph it's probably similar on a lot of other shimadzu machi machines but this is a gc 2010 um, this one happens to have the 20i auto sampler and the parts that we're going to replace and need for this maintenance which you should do every 100 or 150 samples here's the part number for the septa 2633 they look like that uh, we're also going to need um, some of these stingers, one of this stinger. These are the Topaz liners, 23320, and they have the long piece of wool in there. This is a used one. You can see there's some crud in there and there's some gaps in the wool. Uh, and then the new ones shouldn't have those gaps in the wool. And then we also need one of these new O-rings. So here's the part number there, 8001-0201. And we're gonna replace the O-ring uh, or put a new O-ring on the new Topaz liner. So this is really simple, only takes like five minutes, but you should pump down the GC for about 20 minutes after you do this, minimum of 20 minutes. You can, uh, you know, some people recommend overnight. So I'm just gonna unplug the auto sampler there and then the whole auto sampler just lifts straight off like that. And I'm gonna very gently set this down. And then there's this little tray that can lift up and sit up like that. Easy. And this is where everything is gonna go. So there's this little piece right here uh, that can easily fall out and get lost in the machine. So you can undo this by hand. When you put it back on, it's just gonna be hand tight. Um, and you don't wanna lose that little insert piece. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna push it to the side of my finger so it stays in the nut. And I'm gonna very gently set that to the side. So you see those are two separate pieces and you don't wanna lose that in the inner piece. Uh, and here is the septa. So it makes a little hiss sometimes. So I'm gonna pull that straight out, set that to the side. And then I'm gonna grab my wrench, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So counterclockwise, we're gonna loosen this up. Should be pretty easy. You shouldn't put it on too tight. And then it can just loosen by hand. And this is all gonna be connected to this piece up here. So the whole thing can just set to the side as best as you can, which isn't the best. And then the only sort of tricky part that I may need two hands for, there we go, perfect. We need to pull this out. Like I said, I might need two hands for this, but we'll see. So you can use your fingers or tweezers like this and just pull this whole thing out just like that so let's see if we can see if the wool is damaged at all this one looks pretty okay uh, but it's been like 120 samples so we're going to replace it now as well as the o-ring and the septa so i'll set the old one to the side we'll grab a new one so I just opened this, this one. Drop that there. And then we need to put one of these O-rings around here. And when you put the O-ring on, you should slide it down further than it needs to go. Because when you drop it in, you want it to be as uh, low as possible. And that's sort of the only way to guarantee that. Uh, the other thing is I'm wearing brand new clean gloves here. I think that's at least kind of important if you want your samples to turn out okay. So I'm going to try to slowly lower it in, one-handed, there we go, dropped in. So I'm going to push the uh, topaz insert down until it's seated. Just push it all the way down and now it's seated. Okay, uh, so we have the O-ring, we have the insert, 
that's good so then we can put this back on we can screw this back on eventually So I'm just gonna do hand tight, and then I'm gonna do about a quarter turn with the wrench. Maybe a little bit more. Just about as tight as it was when you took it off. So just one finger, you know, it's kinda hard to push it anymore, so I'm gonna stop there. I don't know, there's probably a torque spec, but I don't know it. And then we're gonna take one of these new SEPTA. I'm gonna use tweezers just to make it easy. They sort of get stuck to the glass. So I'm gonna take that out. And put that in. You just wanna push it all the way in. Just like that, easy. And so these are the parts that we had taken out. So this is the old septa and the old insert, old gasket, whatever. So this I left facing up. I left it facing the way that I took it out. So I'm just gonna take this and gently set it on there. So it's centered. And then I'm gonna take the nut and carefully put it on top. Just like that. That's the only part that I get a little bit scared about. Um, and then just make sure it, you know, should be pretty easy to thread on. And it sort of stops at the end, so you can't really over tight this one, over tighten this one. Um, but that's it. So we can close the lid, and I'll put the auto sampler back on and plug it in and press the reset button, and it will be ready to go after we pump it down. So that's it. Really easy. Thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if this helped you and subscribe if it helped you even <laughs> even if you don't want to see the rest of the videos It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye